Welcome back, Akron fans! Another cast, just exhibition match for today. And this game right now is going to be on Cold Forged between J Raccoon and Nail. So we've seen a lot of J Raccoon today, and I should note that all of the replays thus far have worked. So J Raccoon is not the cause of replays messing up as we initially assumed. So J Raccoon, you are off the hook, we will not throw you into the lake for witchcraft. On a lighter note, Nail and CISO, Nail and Jericho both going for CISO, so CISO Mirror, I have not seen this since Alpha Days, I think. I can't remember the last time I saw a CISO Mirror, I think it was back when CISO was the only species available about two years ago. Ever since then, ever since the release of Vecchio and Grecum, everyone's been playing at least one or the other. And I've seen a lot of Grecum Mirrors and a few Vecchio Mirrors, but very, very few CISO Mirrors. So this will be very interesting. And... I think, are they announcing each other's species? I mean, it's not a big deal. They're gonna see each other as soon as they get in range of all of the visible, all the vision range stuff here in the center. So now they're well aware that each other is playing CISO, but still, it it is going to be, I don't know what to expect. I mean, Cold Forge is also, as we've seen in the tournament, a very Grecum focused map, just due to the amount of infantry only paths there are. and. I'm really curious if this is going to play out for CISO Mirror. We've seen CISO versus Vecchio on this, and that one was entirely decided by who decided, oh yeah, maybe I shouldn't kill the comm center, and decided to build everything in view of their opponent. That was a little bit non-indicative of how the game would actually play out. So hopefully both players will be a bit more c concerned about information warfare, and the more aware of the importance thereof, so we will see a game that does not entirely get decided by essentially free scouting. However, Nail is... Well, Nail and Jericho both opening pretty much the same way. Neither player building a factory yet. I think both players are actually going for proxy factories, to be honest. Just from the looks of it, but... Actually, no, Jericho has not moved his marine too far out. He's not focusing entirely on the little valley that you start out in, but he doesn't seem to be going for a proxy either. His marine is just hanging out near his base. He's not actually building anything yet. Nail, on the other hand... Much, much further than the past. 30 seconds up from the start of the game. And it looks like he's mo focusing more on resources. Getting RP's, RP Marine prepped up and possibly getting Marine to build a, a factory outside of his initial valley. But that's about it. So both players... Oh, never mind. Nail is going for a proxy. So it's good to know. Nail definitely going for a proxy right outside of the view of the Spire, by the way. While J-Raccoon is... The focus entirely on is—he actually is staying in the initial valley. He is not even spreading out from there early on. So Nail is going to have a bit of an advantage this game, just given his position and the fact that Jericoon probably isn't fully aware of where it is. However, if Jericoon does find it, which doesn't seem likely, the special ops going straight towards the comm center to destroy it. From the looks of it, that's a marine. What am I saying? Going straight to the comm center looks like he's planning to destroy it. But what he needs to do is get rid of, or find out that this Marine is here, and what Nail is up to, because it hasn't propagated yet, though, but once Jericoon finds it, then he will have a chance of dealing with it, but right now, he is not in a great spot, and Jericoon, he's going to be hit by HHCs pretty soon. So Nail, once again, jumping back earlier in the past, I think he might have been, well, this Marine, like I said, prepped up for building an RP, but doesn't have the money to do it. So that's going to be for later. I'm not sure what he, he bookmarked this time for a reason. But I don't really see any special events going on around here. Uh, oh, what the? Okay, interestingly, apparently the Allied Reefs heal up units. Okay, Cryer needs to make a note of this once he watches this cast because he's the one who made this map that Allied Reefs will heal. Well, will heal allies, which I suppose makes sense. They're only meant to be for vision. So he should probably rethink using Reefs as one of the vision providers in this area. Really, the mounds provide all the vision, unless he was intending for healing to occur in the center of the map due to the reefs, but that's clearly the cause of the problem, because Jericho just won that battle because of the reefs. That, that was it. That's all that happened. It wasn't anything to do with who got there first, just the reefs decided, let's heal J-Raccoon, or J-Raccoon Special Ops. Hopefully it shouldn't deal a huge change to the game. It looks like, no, it does not. The 
Special Ops will still die, Nail still won't lose too much, That and Nail Special Ops will heal itself up, so it's fine. Not a big deal, but still worth pointing out. Jericho's actually run away from the fight, he's avoided this entirely, so... Really, no huge... well, some harm, but not a huge amount. Still annoying, though. I mean, that... quite a surprise. And Nail pushing his factory even further forward now. Jericho still has not spotted it. His own factory is being built up a bit later, so Nail will have his factory completed when... Yeah, Jericho's just started and Nail's is halfway... or un, almost done, not even halfway. It's... it's pretty much done. So, Nail has an advantage both in terms of having his factory up first and having his factory up closer. He also has another RP and it looks like Jericho... Where are Jericho's resource processors? Nowhere! He does not have resource processors around, he has his comm center being destroyed, probably... He's definitely signaling he wants to take this area. Jericho just has a lot of money in the bank and is not... Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the observer point of view. But he still has a lot of money in the bank and is not spending it, regardless of when you are. I'm quite surprised at this. Not building HHCs, if he's building RPs. He does have one over in the back here, so they actually do... He does have four RPs as well. But he doesn't have anything more being built. And neither does Nail, but I'm not looking at Nail's point of view. From Nail's point of view, he has HHCs being built. He has... I mean, he actually did lose an infantry, which isn't a huge deal. He has another RP that's built. He doesn't have anything else other than that. And J Raccoon, while he does have a second importer, doesn't have a whole lot to spend it with, so... He he really needs to spend more of his money. Get, get more money. He's floating money right now, and he doesn't need to worry about undermining, because he's not... His RPs aren't that threatened to have to worry about that. But no, it looks like he's going straight with the ATHC towards the base and s notifying Nail he has an ATHC. So Nail fully aware of this ATHC. He knows that it exists. And like I said, J Raccoon does not know that Nail's ATHC exists. So Nail appears to be focused on an edge attack, which if he's going to execute any time, he's going to execute now and he isn't. I don't know what's going on with that. But J Raccoon also going for an edge attack. So both players pushing for this, and... Okay, Nail is... Nail is not actually really attacking anything, he's... No, the damage we see is being dealt with the comm center. Nail, however, building a macrofab very early on as well, and... This is within view of J-Raccoon. So J-Raccoon, aware that there was a mech around there, but not aware of the macrofab entirely, so... Still, J-Raccoon in the dark, I'm a little bit surprised at an exact course of action. Why is J-Raccoon only just building this HHC and attacking with that? He, I can see why he's building the macrofab, and he, why he might, might want to save money, but he needs to get more RPs on stuff. And he is, okay, he's building more RPs, good. That satisfies me, because that means that he is actually trying to play this game, because if he can be concerned, both players are acting very unlike the metagame. And I find it very concerning. So, Nail... Nail taking some damage to his RPs, so both players are pretty economically even at the moment. Like I said, Nail in a much better position. His factory is much further forward. And he has everything built up faster. He could build another ATHC if he wants to. I'm a little bit surprised that he hasn't. Even with the Mar tanks being built in the Macrofab, he could still have an ATHC being made from here. And down goes that comm center, so we will see Jericho start to build up here very shortly. And Mar tank coming in, so Nail looks like he's trying to go for the kill at the Unplayable Past Edge, so he could easily go for it. Jericho has his macro have in the main valley, and that will not help him out very much. But the ATC is dealing quite a bit of damage to the economy. Nail managing to move one of his RPs away. But, like I said, Nail just needs to go for the attack, and he'll be solid. I mean, I suppose he could wait for another Martank, or wait for another... I don't know what, really. I mean, he is getting another Martank. I, he's not going to get ground units and merge them, I'm sure. I, there's a small chance he will, but it seems unlikely. He seems like he's going to go for base destruction first. No, he's actually going for armory something. You know, it looks like he's going for ground units or machinery. No, ground units. He is he is planning to merge. So expect Twin Mars very shortly, which clearly J Raccoon is not expecting. He's not even getting his own Mar tanks very much himself. But he does have his ATHC set up, but the Twin Mar will just annihilate everything if if J Raccoon is not careful, there isn't much he has to actually stop it from tearing everything apart. He has no airiness, he has no machinery. He could get Lancers, but he doesn't seem to be committed to doing so. So, Nail looks like he's 
just about ready to go for the assault. His groundiness is complete. Back when he is focused, his groundiness is almost done. Seven minutes in the game, but halfway done. We've done about 7:10, and then he'll have his twin Mar. And there we go, twin Mar with another Mar support. And that looks like that was an accident. The twin Mar apparently just happening to get vision. So Nail giving away the existence of his twin Mar early. Jiraku now fully aware of what's going on, and Nail taking advantage of knowing the timing, but really, he needs to just go for the assault right now, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is going straight for that attack. Infantry kind of trying to come out. Jiraku doing what he can to deal with this, but aware too little too late about what's going on, and two, no, a Mar and a Twin Mar dealing with this. Look like two Twin Mars for a second, but no. Twin Mar and a Mar dealing with this. That will be a huge fight for this. And yeah, there goes there goes the armory and the ATC doing what it can to deal with damage to Jericho's for Jericho's part trying to deal with damage he can to the main base. And also once again to this comm center. So Jericho really trying to set himself up for the mid game, but Nail had no time for that. So right now, well, eight minute mark Nail isn't really attacking yet, but Nail will be attacking. This is when he is moving to attack. Santa McComps is on the backside just so he has Spotter. Really clever move there. Jericho has not much to deal with this. Getting a Mar tank as well. Try for tank destruction. Just all the Mar tanks he can get, but really, Lancer, which Nail has, would be the best thing to do. And Nail very quickly tearing apart everything that J Raccoon had. Ripping apart the Mar tanks he built up, getting rid of his factory so any Lancers that could have been built are now off the table. Frigates are an option still. He still has the. He has the tech for it, but that's about it. And the Twin Mar able to take out the Mar tanks before any real damage is dealt. And that's game. That really is game. There's really not mu there's not much that can be done at this point. So yeah, that is the game. That was well, that was Twin Mars, and we've seen them before. They are counterable if you know they're coming, but. Like most things, you can count on them if you know they're coming. Scouting is very important. Once again, I I must reiterate this. Scouting is very important to do. It's very key that, as a player, you make sure that you are scouting out what is going on. Because if you are not scouting out what's going on, then you will have no chance of being able to deal with it. And there goes another Mar tank. Probably going to merge the Twin Mar. And, yep, there we go. So, I should say, merge into a Twin Mar. Merging with Twin Mars was eliminated halfway through beta, but, or, I think, at the start of beta. So, that's the game. Nail has won handily with Twin Mars, demonstrating their awesome, fearsome power. That was... short. And here comes Nail's frigate as well. Like, Nail really building the units that Jericho needed to build. Like, Lancer and a frigate. Lancers would have been a bit more useful, but really, or machinery, or whatever. I mean, there's stuff that could have been done that wasn't. Which is unfortunate. But that's... kind of it. So, I hope you enjoyed that. And Jericho trying to do what he can, taking out Nail's base. Which is kind of commendable, I suppose. But Nail is in a great spot to just recover. I mean, he can recover for free from this point. He has a Marine just hanging out in the corner. In case he wants to rebuild armory or anything, really. He has Twin Mars that'll just rip everything to shreds. This factory is not being used to build anything major, and... Jericho jumping back to the global pass, double-checking what's going on, but he has no chronoporting or anything, so he can't deal with this. Just seeing everything that was done that Nail had used to win, and... Bit surprised Jericho has not surrendered yet. And there we go. Looks like Jericho just double-checking the Twin Mars strength, but... Destroying Nail's main base to no real effect. So, that is it. Wow. Three anticlimactic games involving well in J-Raccoon. That's... Well, not terribly, terribly anticlimactic, but... I mean, Twin Mars, that's pretty... That's pretty exciting. They make stuff blow up. They blow stuff up real good. I like these HHCs over here. That... They blew up real good. And, like I said, J-Raccoon just... Getting sweeped up by Nail, going around the map. Properly sweeping out the map, which I like to see. I don't really like it when players do not sweep the map properly, because sweeping the map is very important. Special Ops here still being a bit of a thorn in the side, but probably should be... It'll be found out soon enough. 
and that marine's gone. I don't know what Jericoon is waiting for. I don't think he's actually waiting for anything or being uh, being annoying, just trying to stay alive. His ATTs did run away, actually, so still making themselves known and making their presence and position known. Very important. So Nail, well aware of where Jericoon's ATTs are, and we'll be able to take care of them no problem. Getting a Lancer, getting rid of this last RP, so Jericoon really has nothing to go for. He has one special ops, he has no marines or mechs or anything. No production structures. Sorry, he has a mech, never mind. He does have a mech. So he could build up an armory from there, and with that he would be able... Oops. He would be able to from there to build up an armory. Sorry about that. And here we go, Jericoon surrenders! So that is game. So I hope you enjoyed that, and... Not really much to say about that, except that... That was game. That's what happens when you don't expect Twin Mars and you don't expect proxies. I mean, I showed one of my casts was me dealing with this exact same situation, and it was hard. But it, it's doable. I just need to scout it out. So, other than that, not really much more to say. So, I hope you enjoyed that, everybody, and have a good night. <laughs>